Every once in a while, a big idea comes along with the power to change everything. In the world of protein production, specifically cage-free egg production, that big idea has arrived, leading the way to complex, cost-efficient facilities that help producers meet consumer demand and promote animal health. What does the big idea look like? We take a sketch like this on a napkin and we would go to a company like Summit Livestock and we ended up with what we see today. The concept and, and this design of Wrap the Equipment definitely helps us get to where we want to get to faster. Wrap the Equipment is a patent pending design that Summit Livestock and Rose Acre Farms uh, developed. It eliminates the need for a building structure, so it converts the vertical legs that support the roost into a building component that supports the roof structure. And we've wrapped the building in a covering instead of building a building. And so it allows the equipment to be put in at the same time. It allows you to not have to build a big superstructure of a building. It cuts costs. It saves a bunch of time. And so it's really a win-win all the way around. And I think this, this Rose Acre story and, and the wrapped equipment innovation and the shift from do-it-yourself to partnering with players who have technological capabilities is really just the beginning of what we're going to see. You have to be able to meet customer demands. And if you're not, someone else is going to pass you by. People in America have said they want cage-free eggs, and so we have to be ready to provide them. And if we're not, somebody else will. Like never before, we have an informed consumer. And they're demanding, and they're demanding three things. First, they're demanding a healthy product. They want a product that's hormone-free. They want a product that they have some visibility or traceability to how it's being produced. Right behind that is, is a demand for sustainability. They want to make sure that the way this food is being produced isn't damaging the environment and their long-term health from an environmental perspective. And third, they want these animals treated in a humane way. We've been in the agricultural industry supporting and building livestock and agricultural buildings for years. The trend we saw was projects were getting more complex. We saw that producers have challenges such as labor and deadlines and animal health. They needed support at the front end on the engineering side and, and designing cost-effective structures. To help protein producers navigate this environment of rapidly changing technology, We've developed a team of engineers to come alongside them and partner with them in a deeply collaborative way. So at some of the livestock facilities, our design process is really broken down into two phases, pre-construction and construction. In the pre-construction phase, our entire goal is to solve customers' challenges, to maximize the producer's ROI and profitability. During the construction phase, design and engineering's role is taking the innovation and it's taking everything we've thought through, everything we've created with the producer and bringing that all to life. What we've done here is we've applied a uh, EPC project delivery that stands for Engineering Procurement Construction. It's not unique to the construction industry, it is unique to the ag world. What it does provide is a, a single source uh, turnkey solution that allows us to take the customer requirements and the construction schedule and run those in parallel. Traditional building models are to, to have that be a sequential process. Uh, what we're doing here to allow for time to market is to run them in parallel. At the heart of animal livestock production, uh, you start seeing a lot of recurring themes and challenges that allow us to really think across broad spectrums while still being able to get deep into the individual market segments, unique challenges and needs. You'll see some of livestock facilities' approach to innovation and problem solving come to life with pre-engineered monoslope facilities for small and medium-sized beef producers, larger scale facilities with more complex operational requirements like Rose Acre Farms, dairy operations like you'll see at Fair Oaks Farms, swine facilities capable of collecting and using big data, We've even developed water filtration systems to create sustainable water sources for facilities in the desert. It's our seamless approach to engineering and constructing livestock facilities that enables us to meet the needs of every protein producer. 
across each of the market segments, understanding the diversity in our, in our customer base. In some cases, we may be working with a publicly traded corporation. Other cases, we may be working with a family-owned corporation, or it may be the, uh, the single-family farmer that him and his son have decided to go build a beef building or, or take on a swine project. And, and understanding that diversity in our customers and tailoring our approach to be able to deliver them the value that they expect. As Summit Livestock Facilities, we have to understand that, we have to tailor our approach to that. When I think of Summit Livestock going forward, we want to be that invaluable partner that comes alongside protein producers and creates confidence and creates hope. Our vision at Summit Livestock is to be that trusted partner that brings the confidence to the table to help protein producers navigate this challenging world make a difference and leave the kind of legacy that they really want to leave. The next big ideas that will help producers humanely feed the world are not in some faraway promised land. They're in action now in swine, poultry, beef, and dairy facilities across the country. Simply take a look and you'll realize the future of protein production is here.